is pounded in percussive fashion. It really does make for a magnificent stage for the boxers to compete on. So there is the man from Georgia, Sakil Alak Verdevi, 24 years of age, the tournament number one seed, ranked number one in the world. This is second appearance at a senior IBA World Boxing Championships. Came away with a bronze in the edition at 48 kilograms in Serbia at the back end of 2021. What a reception for the teen sensation Sanjar Tashken Bike, just 19 years of age from Astana in Kazakhstan. This is his first appearance at a senior IBA World Boxing Championships, but I was ringside in Kielce at the start of 2021 in Kielce in Poland when he boxed his way to a brilliant gold medal finish in the 49 kilogram division, winning four contests out of four. He's made a seamless transition through to the senior ranks to contest championship gold here in Tashkent. So skipping up those three steps in athletic fashion before taking up residence in the blue corner is Sanjar Tashkent by... Received a bye in the first preliminary round, as did the tournament number one seed in the red corner. And what a contest this promises to be between boxers. Different stages of their careers and considerably different statues as well. So, Ivana Ugrenovic of Serbia is our referee. We're about ready for the start of action in our first gold medal contest in this 21st session of boxing, boxing here at the Humo Arena in Tashkent. So we're underway then. Three three-minute rounds in the 48-kilogram minimum weight division between boxers from Georgia and Kazakhstan. The man operating out of the orthodox stance wearing red who's just been run onto the end of a quick two-shot cluster and then touched by another southpaw left again that is the tournament number one seed the number one ranked boxer in the world that is Sakil Alec Verdevi 24 years of age from the Georgian capital comes to the ring as the reigning European champion and has gone at least one better than the 2021 world championship bronze he earned in Belgrade two years ago the southpaw a slightly taller figure wearing blue who has made a very brisk start in his first 40 seconds is Sanjar Tashkan Bai, just 19 years of age. There he was touched by right cross, comes back with a jab of his own. And this man, when he's a, an adept switch hitter, here remaining in his natural southpaw stance. And such wonderful calm, belying his tender teenage years, is a quality that he's able to demonstrate in the ring. So Alak Verdevi, the reigning European Championship gold medalist from the edition in Yerevan, last year it was a bumpy year on the continental stage for tash can because not only did he take senior asian continental gold because of his tender teenage years he also took gold in the under 22 championships at that age restricted edition in bangkok in thailand so just beyond the, ha the halfway stage of this opening round both men Positioning their feet for territory seat was Alec Verdevi who just had his foot on the outside of the southpaw there controlling the space in which the southpaw can move laterally to his right. But Tashkan Bai just looking to get on the front foot and he caught Alec Verdevi as he was pivoting. So plenty of feints being proffered by both boxers trying to draw that lead that they can counter. Feints have got to be convincing, remember. Southpaw left is a scoring shot from Tashkan Bai. There it is once again. On that occasion, it came in behind a Southpaw right jab. Southpaw right jab may have been just short. The backhand wasn't beautiful. Counter backhand from Alak Verdevi after he was touched by the second shot of a two-shot cluster from Tashkan Bai. 
Tash can buy, changing his posture now. Low held hand, circling, bobbing, and weaving in front of his man. Clipping left hand from Alak Verdivi, threat to strain to rabbit punch territory. Oh, beautiful right hand. Straight down the pipe against the southpaw from the tournament number one seed, Alak Verdivi. Perhaps his most eye catching shot of the opening round. There we look for it once again, but we're just short of the contest. And you see, when the boxers are on the inside, neither of them are really looking to free their hands and demonstrate the art of infighting or body punching. Just content to clinch and wait for the intervention of the ref. Heads come together just before the bell to conclude the first round. Now remember, IBA live scoring is available. All five scores from the judges at ringside will be considered. Sanjar Tashkambai made a blistering start to the round. That shot in particular, the southpaw left cross, was a really effective shot for him. I like Verdivi, there was his counter backhand. But I think the brisk start made by Tashkambai will probably be enough to see him take the round. And there's confirmation, a clean sweep of the cards in favour of Sanjar Tashkambai, the tournament number six seed, ranked number eight in the world. So into the second round we go. It's the fourth bout of Tashkent 2023 for both of these boxers having received buys in the first preliminary round. 26 boxers comprise the 48 kilogram minimum weight division. This is the lowest number, the fewest, nu fewest boxers in any of the 13 weight divisions. So the first preliminary round was the round of 32. Neither of these men contested at that stage, beginning their tournaments at the round of 16, effectively. Convincing semi-final victories for both of these men yesterday. So convincing for Alak Verdevi, in fact, that he didn't enter the ring because his opponent scheduled from Cuba didn't make it past the medical in the morning. So he prevailing to this semi-final on a walkover. And that's a beautifully crisp backhand, but then it's countered immediately by Tash Kambai. But the first backhand in that exchange, separated by a few seconds, came from the right cross of Alak Verdevi. And when you get into a tournament, it's often, well, it's an existential question really as to whether a buy or a walkover is of benefit because having trained for so long, and remember these guys have to make weight each and every time that they box in the morning. Big swing and a miss because of good movement in the pocket by Tashkan Bai. I like Bird to be off target with his attempted roundhouse right. But will the walkover have been of benefit to Alak Verdevi? Certainly rested. But could it lead to a little bit of ring rust? Long left cross with a scoring shot once again from the taller southpaw wearing blue. Just over a minute remaining as Alak Verdevi coming forward looking for that right cross once again. But once more he's short of the mark. Tash Kambai just has a wonderfully languid quality about his boxing. But you see the fencing continuing with the lead hands. Alak Verdivi looking to find the range. Left, right was short of the distance and it was a single phase attack. He didn't keep it going. So Tash Kambai using his reach just to turn his glove over. And there's a wonderfully picked left cross that jolted the head of Alak Verdivi backwards. Alak Verdivi aware of that. Goes in pursuit of his get back but comes up short on his attempted cluster. Closing 30 seconds of the second round. Alak Verdivi content to settle for single phase attacks once again that retractable left hand just continuing to travel and at the full extent of its re of its reach it's just touching Alak Verdevi there you see it landed to the sternum of the man in red and remember he lost the he conceded the opening round unanimously and unless he does something dramatic in the closing 10 seconds he's been picked off by another left cross which was followed by a cuffing left just immediately afterwards so he's probably going to, to have conceded this round as well because it's a terrific conclusion to the round from the team sensation Sanjar Tashkenbai of Kazakhstan. For my money, he was in the ascendancy anyway. And then as the 10 cl second clap has sounded, he just produced a cluster of shots without reply to underline his superiority in the second stanza further. 
I like Verdeby continuing to compete. But I think he was outworked. And the more eye-catching shots coming from the man who threw the greater volume as well. So if you have that type of fact, those type of factors at play, it's going to be very difficult for the man in red for my money to have taken that second round. So there's confirmation, the second round in the book, and it once again is scored unanimously in favor of Sanjar Tashkanbai. As we go into the third and final round, the tournament number one seed is trailing 20 points to 18 for all five judges. Well, it's the fans of the boxer from the Central Asian nation of Kazakhstan who will be happier with six minutes in the book. I like Verdeby will be aware of the status of the contest and that will dictate the tactics time the foe of Alak Verdeby and very much the friend of Tash Kambai and that is why he's just content to sit on the back foot because the onus is on Alak Verdeby to do something different a natural counter puncher he's gonna have to get himself out of his comfort zone here and go in pursuit of his man because look at this 40 seconds have elapsed and he's barely launched an attack with bad intentions, Alak Verdevi. Remember, this isn't the computer era of IBA scoring. This is the 10-point must system. So as well as piling up the points, you've got to put it on your opponent as well. And with a minute gone in the third and final round, with the man trailing 20 points to 18 for all five judges, Alak Verdevi hasn't launched an attack to make Tash Kambai uncomfortable. And Tash Kambai can do this for 20 rounds if necessary too much thinking and not enough action plenty of motion but not enough action coming from Alak Verdeby there he comes forward with a right cross but it's easily negated by the effective back foot movement of Tash Kambai and Tash Kambai seizing the initiative now so he doesn't get ticked off get a ticking off from the referee about a lack of engagement but Alak Verdeby being met head-on at centre ring by Tash Kambai. But he is running out of time. Lead right hook followed by a backhand. And Alak Verdeby has got to do something dramatic and decisive in the final minute. Beautiful check right hook spinning off the line from Tash Kambai. His follow-up straight shot was off the mark and he was countered by Alak Verdeby. Perhaps his only or his most eye-catching scoring shot of the third and final round. When he entered the, this third stanza, trailing by 20 points to 18 for all five judges. So in this battle of continental champions, the Asian continental kingpin in the form of Sanjar Tashkambai appears to be getting the better of the European champion. Beautiful left cross once again causes Alak Verdeby to become disorganized. Stealing a glance to his blue corner was Tashkambai because he knows that he is edging ever closer to the top spot on the podium and the not insignificant matter of $200,000 of prize money that goes along with the gold medal that will be draped over the world champion's neck. The 10 second clap has sounded and that is why the Kazakh contingent are dialing up the decibel level because their man Sanjar Tashkenbai has just produced a brilliant nine minutes of boxing that will see him occupy the highest plinth on the medal podium. The man who claimed world youth gold in Kielce in Poland in 2021 has made a seamless progression through to the senior elite ranks. And in this, his first senior appearance, his first appearance at a senior world championships, he has boxed his way brilliantly through four contests and will surely be crowned as the newly minted 2023 IBA World Championship gold medalist.
half in your men's a minimum weight division comes to a close up to be the scheduled three three minute rounds in a 48 kg minimum weight category all of your judges see it the same way ruling in favor of your winner by points declared by unanimous decision to the blue corner and there is the moment of confirmation Sanja Tashken by with a beautiful display of boxing taking all three rounds for all five scoring judges and the king of the Asian continent becomes the king of the world in the 48 kilogram minimum weight division he kisses the canvas in celebration and a moment of silent introspection a warm embrace from his Kazakhstan coaches and Kazakhstan of the 13-man team that they sent here seven quarter finalists five medalists five finalists and they have started their run of the five finalists who will box over the next two days with a gold medal performance from Sanjar Tashkenbai. Sakil Alec Verdebi has improved on the world championship bronze that he won in Serbia in 2021 and the European champion comes away with a world championship silver terrific display from the Tokyo Olympian winning three contests out of four but he met a team sensation in the form of this man